What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over my YouTube advertising strategy checklist, which is essentially a checklist of best practices as you start to plan your promotion and come up with your targeting and create your video ads. So to get started, what you need to do first is plan your promotion. So if I'm creating a promotion, I generally want to do something on my website. For example, let's say I'm running a promotion around beach Halloween decorations. What I would want to do is make sure I have this promotion all set up on my website and make sure I am completely ready with my landing pages, with my YouTube video ads. And when you're creating your checklist, what you want to do is make sure you're creating multiple video ad lengths. So when you're creating your video advertisements, if we come over here and we look at my Beachfront Decor YouTube channel, you can see I have some here that are seven seconds, some that are 30 seconds, some that are 15 seconds. What I would recommend doing is creating at least one 15 second ad, at least one 30 second ad, probably two 30 second ads. I would create one 60 second ad and then I would create one longer advertisement that maybe is about two or three minutes that goes into more detail. So the reason why you wanna create multiple video ad links, if we come back over here to our checklist, is because what Google Ads is gonna do as you're running your YouTube advertising campaigns is continue to serve the best performing videos. So you wanna create multiple video ad lengths and then publish those videos to YouTube. Now keep in mind when you do publish your videos to YouTube, you can keep them as unlisted so that they're not actually going out to your subscribers. In this case, I don't have a lot of subscribers on this channel, so I just put these up here as public videos. So you can publish your videos as unlisted videos on YouTube and then run them as ads. So getting started, making sure you have multiple video ad lengths, making sure you publish those videos to your business YouTube channel. Now, conversion tracking and remarketing, I have videos on my channel and I would link those videos in the video description so you could easily understand how to set up conversion tracking on your website and remarketing audiences for your website and for your YouTube channel. So when you come into your Google Ads account and we go to tools and settings, one of the things you wanna do is come in here under measurement and click on conversions and you should have your conversion action here. So your key performance indicator, you wanna make sure you have your conversion action here and you wanna make sure it's driving actual conversions after you've uploaded it. So that's step one, because then you can optimize for your key performance indicator in your campaign. The other thing we're gonna do is go to tools and settings and under shared library, we're gonna to go to audience manager. So from audience manager, you can see I have all these different remarketing audiences created and you can see the size for YouTube. So I can start targeting people who are visiting my website, people who are watching my YouTube videos, and I can make sure I can target them directly on YouTube. So if we come into my data sources, I get this data, all of these data sources from the Google Ads tag, which I set up on my website with Google Tag Manager, and for my Google Analytics 4 account. And then in addition, my YouTube remarketing audiences are created because I've linked my YouTube account to my channel, which you can do by going to Tools and Settings and Linked Accounts. That's also how you can link your Google Analytics 4 account. So before you ever start creating a campaign, you wanna make sure you're doing these four things at the top, and then you're also gonna need at least one optimized landing page where you're gonna be sending traffic to. So if again, we come over here, what I could do is send people to this page right here. Obviously this, this top part, I would make look a little better and have some featured products, but this is not a real promotion that I'm running on my website. So what I have here is save 20%, all Halloween and fall decorations. That's the promotion that I'm actually gonna be running on my YouTube advertising campaigns. And then as you scroll down, I have a bunch of different products for sale all relevant to beach Halloween. Now, what I could also do is try to test different landing pages. So I could use this product listing page, which has a list of beach Halloween decor and coastal Halloween decor, 68 total products. So people can come in here and try to find some different products that might look good in a beach home. They're not all perfect for a beach home, but for people who are looking for that, it's probably gonna be one of the better places to find these different products. So I have my landing pages. I have my remarketing audiences set up. I have my conversion set up for conversion tracking and I have my video ads published to YouTube. So planning our promotion, that's step one of this advertising strategy checklist. Coming to step two, what you wanna do, and this part's gonna go a little bit quicker, drive conversions campaign for your KPI. So what that means is when you come back to your Google ads account, when you're creating your campaign. So we're gonna click on the plus sign, we're gonna do new campaign, you're gonna choose your objective here, which you want to be sales or leads. So in my case, I'm gonna choose sales. My conversion goal is going to be purchases. So that's gonna be my main KPI that I'm optimizing for. When we click on continue, we're gonna choose video for the campaign type and you're gonna see drive conversions here. 
So drive conversions campaign for your KPI. That's what that means, drive conversions video campaign for our main conversion goal, and we'll click on continue. So as we come in here to create our campaign, again, we're doing configure campaign for part two, smart bidding strategy, set a minimum budget and duration, site link extensions and frequency capping. So let's go through all of those right now. So first, smart bidding strategy. Since we are using a drive conversions campaign, you can either set a target CPA for how much you want your target cost per action to be. So the average amount you're willing to pay for a conversion. So you can see here their typical target CPA for a video campaign between $11 and about $26. So you can set a target CPA here or what you can do is start with maximize conversions and then adjust your CPA over time. Now with budgeting, you have two different options. You could either do daily or campaign total. What I mean with setting a minimum budget and a campaign duration is let's just say I wanna spend $300 over the next 30 days I would set a daily budget and just set it at $10 per day. And by setting your budget and how long you want to run your campaign, Google ads is going to help you optimize your campaign. Since you're using a smart bidding strategy, you're using conversion tracking. Google ads will spend your budget as effectively as possible. You don't want to set a daily budget of $10, run your campaign for two days, increase it to hundred dollars for the next two days, go back down to $15 for the next two days. What you want to do is say, I want to spend this much for this campaign over this period of time because that's gonna allow you to get the most out of your campaign. So we're gonna keep scrolling down here and two things to keep in mind as we come down. Now content exclusions, you can exclude certain inventory types and exclude certain types and labels. I'm not gonna go through that in this video. Site link extensions, you wanna add additional links to your advertisement. So in this, I created examples of beachfront decor, beach decor shop, fall beach decor. So what I could do is enter a couple more site link extensions here, maybe do popular beach Halloween products, 10 best beach Halloween products, create different pages on our website and link to them with site link extensions. So you wanna make sure you're using site link extensions because it's gonna help you get more conversions because you're driving people to relevant pages on your website. Next, before we get into targeting is frequency capping. So how often do you want your ads to show to the same user? You can cap your impression frequency, so you can do per day, per week, per month. So if you know you're gonna be running this campaign for the next month, you could say, I wanna make sure that the same person isn't seeing my advertisement more than five times over the course of the next month. So you can set your frequency capping for your campaign as well. So that's going to be our advertising strategy checklist part two, configuring our campaign. So we're gonna come on to number three and this is gonna be set your targeting. So these first three are gonna be pretty quick, location, language targeting, device targeting, and demographics targeting. So what you wanna do is Come back to the top here. We wanna set our locations to target. If you come in here and you do advanced search, you can target any area really you can possibly think of, whether it's a county, you can target congressional districts, you can target full markets, you can target a state, you can target a city, you can even target a radius. So you wanna set your targeting for where the best possible locations are for your business, where your business serves, and use that as your location targeting. Language targeting, pretty straightforward. Select the languages your customers speak as your language targeting. So you wanna start with location and language targeting. As we scroll down here, device targeting. So you can choose to set specific targeting for devices, for specific operating systems, for specific device models, and for specific networks. So if you wanna say, I just want my ads to run on mobile phones, you can do that here and set specific targeting where you're just running on mobile phones. So I prefer to leave this wide open, but it might be something you wanna try if you wanna set specific targeting for the devices that people are using. In this case, we'll just show on all eligible devices and make this very simple. So coming back over here, demographics targeting. You wanna make sure that you're targeting the demographics that are the most valuable for your business. For example, if the most valuable for your business is male 45 and up, then target male 45 and up and make sure that those are the people that are seeing your advertisements. So you wanna make sure you're using demographic targeting. Again, if you have a message for a parent, make sure you're just targeting parents. So if it's for all parents, moms and dads, then target all parents. If otherwise you're just trying to reach moms or fathers, then do parent and choose gender over here as well. So some different options as far as demographic targeting, you wanna make sure you're reaching the people that are the most valuable and important for your business. Now next is gonna be audience segments. And since we went over remarketing before, what you wanna do here is add your data 
So I'm going to say browse. We're going to go to website visitors. And what we can do is target all visitors over the last 30 days. Now, the other thing you want to do, so custom intent and remarketing audiences. Within your remarketing audiences, one of the options is going to be your data or similar segments. What you can also do here is come to browse. If you have created some different remarketing audiences, you're going to start to get similar segments here. So if I'm targeting all visitors over the last 30 days to my website, I might as well target people who are the most similar across the Google Ads network to everybody who's been to my website over the last 30 days. What we're looking to do here is build the best possible audience for our campaign. So anybody who's been to my website over the last 30 days, anyone who is similar to people who have been to my website over the last 30 days, that's who we want to target first. And then in addition to this audience, we want to come over here and create a custom segment. So what you can do is click on the plus sign to create a new custom segment and come here and do people who search for any of these terms on Google. So you can enter the Google search terms here, name your segment, click on save to create it. I've already created one that very, very simple. If we come in here and we go to browse and we look at some of these different, so I have Halloween beach decor. So this segment right here, Halloween beach decor, it's targeting people who have searched three different keywords, nautical Halloween decorations, beach Halloween decorations, and coastal Halloween decorations. So that's all I did to create this custom segment. We're trying to reach people who are actively researching Halloween beach decorations. We're using all people who have been to our website over the last 30 days, and we're reaching people who are similar to everyone who's been to my website over the last 30 days. And the other important thing is we're going to use optimized targeting. So you can see ads have seen an average of 20% more conversions by using optimized targeting. And what Google ads is going to do is use our landing page, our audiences, our assets, all the information that they have that we've given them, they're going to use that to find even more people who are going to be the most likely to convert on our website. So coming back over here to targeting, use custom intent and remarketing. If you have similar audiences, incorporate them as well. Use demographics targeting to reach the people that are the most valuable for your business. If you want to adjust your language targeting, device targeting, location targeting to make sure you're reaching specific people on specific devices in specific locations, that's what you want to do there. And then enable optimized targeting to get the best results out of your campaign. So that's our strategy checklist part three. We have our targeting all set up. Our campaign is all set to drive conversions. We have great landing pages. We have great video ads. So let's create our video ads. Now in this, you're going to be using responsive video ads if you use a drive conversions campaign. So as we scroll down here, we're going to create our video ads. You want to create multiple YouTube video ads here. So come over to your YouTube channel, copy the URL for the video. And what we'll do is we'll come back to our campaign. You just need to paste that URL. So it's going to pull up the video and you're going to see video ad format. Responsive video ads generate multiple ad combinations in the most relevant formats, such as skippable in-stream and in-feed video. Format selection is not supported in this ad group. So we're using responsive video ads that will run across YouTube, Google Video Partners, and you can see there's different formats here. In-feed video, skippable in-stream. If we come over to YouTube, same thing. In-feed video, skippable in-stream, mobile and desktop devices. So what you want to do, we're going to close this. I don't recommend using content targeting. So what we're going to do is we have our video here. So you want to create at least four video ads. So in the very beginning, when I did the first part, multiple video ad lengths, if you have a 15 second, 30 second, 60 second, 120 second video, you publish them all to YouTube. This is where you can create your video ads. So you want to create all four of those video ads. And then what you can do is actually create this advertisement test a specific set of ad copies. So let's use our call to action, say shop now. Headline, I can say something like Halloween sale. Set your long headline, set your description line. And what you can do is create one advertisement that we're driving traffic to this final URL. Make sure we do HTTPS. Driving traffic to this final URL, we have our call to action, our headline, long headline description, and we create this advertisement. What you can do is duplicate this the same advertisement you just created. And then all you want to do is update the final URL and send people to this other landing page. What you're going to find is one URL will probably perform better than the other URL. And this is one way to AB test your landing pages. Now, the only way to AB test landing pages is to create using the same YouTube video, the same ad copy, the same companion banner. Everything needs to be the same except for our final URL which you can then also do 
is test some of these different ad variations and test different ad copy. So maybe for one, you wanna do shop now and do Halloween sale. Another one I could do 20% off fall. Oh, we'll do 20% off decor or 20% off sale. So you can test some of these different headlines, long headlines, try these different landing pages, see what's performing best for you. So ultimately, if I'm saying create at least four video ads, by using these examples here, you could use, if you have four different videos, you can use them to create about 16 different advertisements. If you're incorporating different landing pages, if you're incorporating different ad copy, what it's gonna allow you to do is test all of that ad copy, test the different video advertisements. Now keep in mind, if I create one video ad, and let's just say we have this video right here, we have one final URL, we have one set of ad copy, there is no way to actually test which ad copy is performing better, which landing page is performing better, which video is performing better. So by creating different advertisements, what Google Ads is gonna do is keep serving these ads across YouTube, mobile devices, desktop devices. You can see some of these different formats here, different ways that your advertisement is going to look. So if you go to mobile, go to in-feed video, different ways that your advertisement is going to look across YouTube, across Google Video Partners, and what is gonna happen over time is Google Ads will keep serving the best performing video ad, and if we come up here and we go back to our bidding strategy, where we're looking at maximize conversions, what you can do, let's just say you're using target TPA, is get that target TPA as low as possible so you're driving conversions at the best possible value for your business. So this is my YouTube advertising strategy checklist. Review all ad formats just basically means as you're creating your video ads down here at the bottom, look at the way your advertisement is gonna look across all these different formats to make sure it looks good in every format, especially as you enter different call to actions, different long headlines, description lines, understanding what is showing for your video ad. So this is my YouTube advertising strategy checklist coming back to the very beginning. You wanna plan your promotion. You wanna create a lot of different video ads, publish those to YouTube, use conversion tracking, incorporate your remarketing audiences, make sure you're using really good landing pages. That's one of the biggest mistakes I see any advertiser make is just terrible landing pages that are not set up to convert. Drive conversions campaign, optimize for your KPI, smart bidding strategy, set a minimum budget and duration so that your budget is spent effectively, use site link extensions for relevant links on your website, set frequency capping so the same people aren't seeing your ads over and over, use the right location and language targeting for your target customer, you can incorporate device targeting if it makes sense for your campaign, if you wanna reach people on specific devices. And then again, demographics targeting, same thing, the most valuable people to your business. Use custom intent, use remarketing, use similar audiences, enable optimized targeting, and Google Ads will try to find the best audience for your business, and your campaign should improve over time if you're creating and testing your video ads. So if you have any questions about my YouTube advertising strategy checklist, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.